Don't be underestimating, but by God, if you love some of the players up the wrong way. And the managers. Now, I'm going to start with you, John. It came to the point when you leave the club, you go and you, you absolutely smash it elsewhere. You go to Monaco, you go to Everton, Fulham. But you go to Monaco and Fergus McCann tries to rewrite the Bosman rule to get a transfer. <laughs> I, I think I've got to give him credit. Uh, I went to Monaco at the end of my contract. The Bosman rule came in. And for, for you that don't know the Bosman rule, before 1996 your contract finished and you didn't just walk away free of charge, you went, you went to a tribunal and the club got, still got a big transfer fee, it was called compensation. So 1996, end of the season, I was the first player of Britain, came to the end of my contract and I got a wonderful offer to go and move to Monaco. Happy but also a sad day, I was Celtic fan all my life and I played 12 years in Scotland, 6 at Hibs, 6 at Celtic. Um, fulfilled my dream, my dream as a boy was to play for Celtic and score against Rangers, so I did that. But I went to Monaco and Fergus McCann, bless him, the role was Celtic, never got any money, but because Mon Monaco, he thought the role was a European rule, a European Union rule, and Monaco were not part of the European Union. <laughs> so he went to the European Court of Arbitration, spent a lot of money taking Monaco to the courts, trying to get a transfer fee, and in all honesty, I was hoping he was going to be successful and get a transfer fee, because it didn't bother me, I'd signed my contract with Monaco, so I was fine. <laughs> but I came back to Everton and signed for Everton two and a half years later. He was still in the courts, still trying to get money. So he was a wee man that persevered, God bless him. But at the end of the day, he never got what he was after. But, he tried his best. He did, he did get to him far away. He did get to him far away. Tenacious. Be Fergus. Tenacious. Um, and George.